verse 16 Hallelujah. That's, Hallelujah. that's where I was going. Redeeming the time because the days are evil. You have to redeem the time. And the reason he gives you is because the days we are living in are evil. They are full of evils. Evils that will steal away your time. Evils that will waste your time. Now listen to me. When the devil inflicts you with a negative addiction, like smoking marijuana, Drunkenness. Uh, Such things. Hivyo vitu. His purpose is to waste your time. Kusudi lake ni kukupotezea wewe muda. We spoke about seasons of life. Tulizungumza habari za nyakati za nyakati. That from age 1 to age 20. Kwamba kutoka katika mwaka mmoja mpaka This is the time a person is supposed to go to school. Huu hiki ni kipindi ambacho mtu anatakiwa kwenda shuleni. Nursery school, kindergarten school, primary school and secondary school. Shule ya wali, shule ya msingi, shule ya secondary. You get your primary education, your foundation in life. Unapata msingi wa elimu yako, msingi wa maisha yako. From age 20 to age 30. Na kutoka miaka 20 kwenda miaka 30. That's when you start learning, you know, the career of your life. Ni kipindi ambacho unaanza kujifunza eh study ya maisha yako. You go to college. Unaenda chuoni. Whether university. Au chuo kikuu. You are doing your diploma. Au unachukua diploma. You have gone to veta. Au unaenda veta. You are learning skills of life. Unajifunza zile studies za maisha. You see when you go to university. Unapokwenda chuo kikuu. That's not like a primary education. Hiyo sio sawa na shule ya msingi. You specialize there. Unajifunza taaluma maalum. So we know when you go, you graduate you become a teacher. Tunajua kwamba utakapomaliza chuo utakapoe timu utakuwa mwalimu, utakuwa mwanasheria, utakuwa daktari. You go to veta. Unakwenda veta. And when you graduate we know you are becoming our electrician, you know our plumber and so on and so on. Na unapohitimu veta tunajua utakuwa au ni fundi umeme au and fundi bomba au kitu kingine fulani. And I gave you my advice. Na nikakupa ushauri wangu. That after graduating from college. Ya kwamba baada ya kuhitimu kutoka chuo. Don't start your own company. Usianze kampuni yako mwenyewe. Go and work in a company. Nenda kafanye kazi katika and kampuni. And people who are experienced. Chini ya watu ambao tayari wana ujuzi, wana 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 experience. They will help to develop you. Watakusaidia wewe kukukuza, kukujenga. Say amen. Sema amina. So you have age 20 to age 30. Kwa hiyo unayo miaka 20 mpaka miaka 30. This is the time you learn skills of life and start working. Na huo ndio kipindi ambacho unajifunza studies za maisha na unaanza kufanya kazi. And you must work hard at this age. Na lazima ufanye kazi kwa nguvu katika umri huu. Say amen. Sema amina. Now I told you. Na, na sasa nilikwambia. When the devil inflicts you with an addiction. Nikakwambia kwamba shetani anapokuingizia he is wasting your time Anapoteza mdawako. while others are doing secondary education. Wakati watu anasoma shule ya secondary. You are smoking marijuana. Wewe unavuta bangi. While your friends are going to high school. Wakati rafiki zako wanakwenda vyo vya juu. He keeps you busy with the drugs. Wewe anakuweka busy na mambo ya madawa. He makes you love sex like I don't know like he, like you are crazy. Anakufanya wewe upende ngono yani kama vile akili yako sio nzuri. While others are going to college. Wakati wengine wanaenda chuo, you are thinking about negative things. Wewe unafikiria mambo ambayo ni ni hasi. By the time you wake up, na kifika kipindi ambacho unaamka, all your friends have already graduated. Rafiki zako wote wameshahitimu. And you were sleeping. Na wewe ulikuwa umelala. Ulikuwa unaishi kama msukule fulani hivi. <laughs> because msukule <laughs> you are living like a zombie. Is someone who is alive? Kwa sababu msukule ni mtu ambaye anaishi. But practically dead, he is not really Lakini alive. Lakini kimsingi amekufa sio hai katika uhalisia. So if the devil can succeed to inflict you with an addiction. Kwa hiyo shetani akifanikiwa kukuingiza katika ulevi fulani he doesn't need to murder he doesn't need to kill you hahitaji kukuua you are already dead kwa sababu wewe tayari umeshakufa you are finished wewe umekwisha by the time you wake up eh hey, takapofika kipindi unaamka <laughs> at age 30 
umefika miaka 30 you were friends graduated from the university long time ago and rafiki zako walishahitimu chuo kikuu muda mrefu they have already become professionals tayari wameshakuwa maarufu ma, 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 they are now preparing the, themselves to get into another stage of life na wako katika hali ya kujiandaa kuingia katika hatua nyingine ya maisha from age 30 to age 60 kutoka miaka 30 mpaka miaka 60 that's when you realize the dream of your life hapo ndipo unapotambua ndoto ya maisha you become that person you were meant to be unakuwa mtu yule ambaye ulikusudiwa kuwa jesus the bible says yesu biblia inasema when he began his ministry alipoanza huduma yake he was about 30 years old alianza akiwa takriban miaka 30 on that day when king david became king over israel na wakati ule daudi alipokuwa mfalme wa israel the bible says he was 30 years old biblia inasema alikuwa na miaka 30 joseph yusuf when he was called before pharaoh alipoitwa mbele ya farao the bible says he was 30 years old biblia inasema alikuwa na miaka 30 at age 30 that's when you start you are you start you know realizing your dreams katika miaka hiyo 30 ndio kipindi ambacho unaanza kuitendea kazi ndoto yako it doesn't have to be exactly at 30 sio lazima iwe ni miaka 30 kamili but from 30 lakini kuanzia 30 you have to have been convinced what is the dream of your life lazima uwe umeshawishika ni nini ndoto ya maisha and you must have already been convinced that this is the purpose for my life this is the reason why i was born na lazima uwe tayari umeshawishika kujua kwamba haya ndio makusudi ya maisha yangu haya ndio makusudi nilioletwa duniani kuyafanya there has to be that one thing lazima liwe jambo hilo moja paul said one thing i do Paulo anasema jambo moja ninalifanya. What is that one thing you are doing? Ni nini hilo jambo moja unalolifanya? What is it that you are living for? Ni kitu gani hicho ambacho wewe unakiishi? Say amen. Sema amina. Say amen. Sema amina. Now listen to me. Sasa nisikilize. Maybe you are a carpenter like Jesus. Labda wewe ni mselemala kama alivyokuwa Yesu. You are a plumber, you are a, you know you are a tailor. Labda ni mfundi bomba au ni mshonaji. You are an engineer. Au wewe ni engineer. Whatever you are doing. Chochote unachokifanya that um, profession or that career god has given you hiyo kazi au hiyo ustadi mungu aliyokupa to, to to help you make your living ni kukusaidia kufanya maisha yako but also to prepare yourself for your dream lakini pia ni kwa ajili ya kukuandaa wewe mwenyewe kwa ndoto yako Say amen. Sema amina. Say amen. Sema amina. So, the Bible says, Kwa hiyo, Biblia inasema, Let us redeem the time. Na tukomboe wakati. Redeem the time. Komboa wakati. These days are evil. Siku hizi ni za uovu. The devil is looking for who to waste his time with an addiction. Shetani anamtafta mtu yupi ni mpoteze wakati kwa ulevi wa aina fulani. You you think you are enjoying life. Wewe unafikiri una, una maisha.